We are at the Eastern Hills Mall again because Brett didn't get to go to the flea market last time or what, I don't even know what to call that store, but we're excited, yay! I'm smiling, you can't tell <laughs> We are here, it looks very busy. I like that you're wearing a McDonald's manager shirt and a Tony's jacket. <laughs> I forgot to get her last time, so we can get her this time, but we're gonna look around a lot first. I'm excited, I really wanted her. All right, you just gonna play Pokemon Go? <laughs> so I do understand that the last doll hunt that I did was at this place and overall it's a lot of the same stuff but a lot of the comments were about not being able to see the things and I understand it's mostly because um, I guess my camera just could not handle the movement so I walked slower and I happened to get a new phone with a really fantastic camera on it and it's able to do 60 frames per second and really high quality pixel density videos so hopefully these turn out a lot better I'd love to know um, how you guys feel about it. For me looking at the phone screen it looks amazing but I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how YouTube's gonna actually render it, so hopefully it still turns out well. So here I am at, this is a pretty big booth, but it's a whole bunch of nothing for me, but it's still exciting, California raisins. <laughs> it's still exciting to see so many toys in one place, you know, and you got like Beanie Babies, Care Bears, Brett's holding the camera for me, look at all the Beanie Babies. I have so many Beanie Babies that they're just not as interesting to me anymore, like I do like them, but when I was little, they, you know, the Beanie Baby trend had recently fallen out so every garage sale had giant boxes of them for a dollar each so when i was little and my mom would bring us to garage sales we'd always come home with a big pile of beanie babies it's our first doll of the day <laughs> is that um merlia maybe i couldn't tell I just kind of flashed her in the camera real quick and then we got one of the i think that's like a kenner repro alien or something i'm not really sure what's going on with those they were like recently in stores oh look at the i love the beanie baby kiwis they're so cute and then that's my childhood dollhouse, and it's actually kind of rare because it's like a special edition one, so I was really surprised to see it here. I got mine at Savers recently, so I'm good because I got it back. I should have probably checked if that had furniture, though, because if it did, that'd be a good deal. That was hilarious to me, the Jonas Brothers clock. <laughs> kind of wanted to get that, I'm not going to lie. But anyways, this booth has like, it's a really fun booth, like it has a lot of things, but nothing for the doll collectors in the audience. Not sure what we're looking at. Some board games. Oh, and the Disney porcelain dolls. I'm not super into um, porcelain dolls. And still looking around. Oh, I'm holding the camera now. That was just one of those Pokeballs that got recalled because kids were like putting their mouth and nose in them and then like sucking and then it would get stuck on their face, which they were recalled for that. And at first I was like, that's really stupid. But I, I, was, I was one of those kids doing that like at the time, happily doing that. <laughs> So, um, I don't think it was stupid at all. So they started drilling holes in them or something so that you couldn't do that anymore. <gasps> Brett, these guys! Oh yeah, those guys. There's a ton of them. them. I had this one. You had one? I didn't have one. This all wasn't here last time, see? It's all, it's crazy. <laughs> You're so tall. Look, this is where I got my dolls. Yeah. I want that one this time. Mm. And see, they have the collectors, but they're... Oh, she's only 150 actually. It's not that bad. And I didn't look at the clothes if those were here last time. And the Create a Monster parts. Is that a rainbow? Yeah. yeah. I'm stunned you knew that. That's Rainbow. actually cool. We watched Rainbow Bright together, remember? The original? Yeah. Oh. I need to watch it because I haven't seen much of it. We watched that too. It's pretty cool. I want this Boo York cladding, but... And see, look, those are custom, so this is like... This booth was pretty cool, so I wanted to show it in a little bit more detail. It's kind of like a horror movie type of booth. 
I collect very specific figures and only from like Godzilla and Alien and then occasionally I'll kind of venture out a little bit. I'm mainly into dolls, but I do have some figures, so I always look at booths like this. Godzilla stuff is just really hard to come by in America because it gets snatched up really fast because there actually is quite a bit of Godzilla merch that was released and continues to be released in the US, but it doesn't stay secondhand. Like it doesn't stay at secondhand shops for long. And this was a pretty cool booth. It's just like the ogre yeah, it Look, it's like Thornton. Okay, so this is very small. But like, what if we got this for Lego? Like, right? You get it. Brett found more records. <laughs> He's got the record eye like I do the doll eye. I don't know why, but I was breathing extremely heavy in this clip. So I'm going to have to cut this uh, audio and dub over it but that's okay here is this really big booth that has a ton of toys and we're gonna do a really in-depth tour of this booth look there's more of those recalled pokeballs and you can see that there is a pretty i like this booth a lot because most vintage toy type of booths don't have variety especially in terms of the types of collectors that they cater to it mainly will be like action figure collectors and only like pop culture stuff so i was really excited about this booth the first time that i saw it Because I was overwhelmed, I didn't notice. I don't know. But look at the. See, I have her already. But I don't have them in box, and they're such good prices. Our shops are still here. This one. This one. That one's name is uh, Meadowbrook. That's me. <laughs> Pardon me. It's a really pretty doll. There's more than last time, but maybe I'm crazy. But look, the Pokemon game. Still here? Yeah. Oh, it's oh. from Gen 4. I thought it was 3. Yeah, because there's Kyogre on the Does side. Have everything that's supposed to be in there? Well, I don't know. That's why I didn't get it last time, but we can check. But I kind of want this. I really thought it was Gen 3. I was all excited. I'm still excited, though. It's cool. It's hard to see everything because it's so like, but that's how it, you know it's gonna be fun. Remember that show? It aired for like. A no, month. I do not. <laughs> Sign. I got so excited because I was like, "Why is there a sewing machine? Maybe it's the Game Boy one that I'm desperate for." <laughs> but no, it's just a sewing machine. That's what I like about this kind of store. You can just have a sewing machine. In. <laughs> Hey man, that's the like one of the mounts. Wait. Pogs. Cool. It's actually cool because of the the Palkia and Dioga box is really neat. What's in there? Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Imagine you're looking for this specific arm, you know. But as a toy collector, like, that would be, like, the best day of my life, Dub. Like, yes, I found the arm. Yes. So many things. Ben 10 watch, but it's like the new version. Bagatelle? All right, let's check if this has everything in there.
an equestria girls here telephone alarm clock sorry i'm like really scrutinizing because there's so many interesting things here oh look see i didn't even see those before let me put my game down look it's a ton of these oh my god amazing <laughs> i'm really entranced by this okay tempted the toy cabinets on this side of the store now well not all of them are toys but a lot of them are and here's brett and you can see the things up there oh <gasps> i want her whoa these weren't here last time i'm telling you Can ghouls get away spectra too? Oh yes. Um, the belly bass. The Brett doesn't get it. Cars. Look. It, we're talking about how I'm gonna crush him at Pokemon Trivia. I thought you were gonna meet it. Oh. Well, not if I don't have to. Look. These really nice care bears. I used to have this one. I like me some Care Bears, but I decided to not start collecting them until I moved. I was really surprised actually that Julie and Ivy were gone, but Kanani was still here, and I don't know if those minis were here last time either, but I was really impressed with how much the store actually does go through product. These sorts of stores, generally, I don't check back to more relatively often because they tend to just sit on dead stock forever. But it seems like this store actually has a decent enough cu customer base where things are actually moving and new stuff keeps getting put in. I was really shocked how much new stuff there were or there was because it was only like two weeks after the last time I had come. It's gone. Like, there's nothing there anymore, so that's sad. Anime store is closed, too. It's fine. It's fine. I was so excited to find this booth because the prices were so much better, but I spent too much at the other store, so I wasn't able to get as much from this booth as I wanted to, but I'll definitely be back. I ended up getting that Beach Spectra. I could have gotten two other dolls, or even three, or even one of the play sets and two dolls, but for some reason, I, I, I was too entranced by that Spectra. I'll talk about it later. And then these are the like less complete cheap dolls. I really should have gotten Royal Bee. She was $12, and it's the original Royal Bee. Um, if she's still there next time, I'll definitely get her. And look at like that Meowlity there. Like The prices were so good. I don't know. And then Abby's Bed, I really want to go back for if it's still there, for sure. And the Big Bag of Monster High Clothes. And then this clip I didn't get to talk in because this was right next to the checkout counter and the guy was staring daggers into me. And I understand why it's probably because like I could easily walk off with this stuff, but it made me viscerally uncomfortable. But this was cool because I very rarely see like a box of smaller stuff. I don't know where all this stuff goes generally because most kids have a big pile of this stuff, but for some reason I never really see them at thrift stores. So, you know, we're just digging through the little pet shop. I was really impressed with the selection of Little's Pet Shops here. Like they had, they did have mostly the newer ones, but they had quite a few older ones. They had play sets that went to the older ones. You can actually see like that big bed that goes to the magnetic cat. They had the cat that goes to it. They had some McDonald's ones. They had some of even the most recent ones. I was really impressed and I love Little's Pet Shops and I was actually missing quite a few of these and I have hundreds of them. I think my last count was around 600. So <laughs> it was pretty neat to see this many of them in person and um, definitely if I go back, I'm going to take another look because I love them and it's really rare to add them to my collection because they're just so popular that it's really hard to find them thrifting.
that this was probably one of my favorite parts of the day. Just, I, it's intensely satisfying to just dig through a toy box and get to pick some out. And there's definitely quite a few in this box that I want to go back for. That one was cool because there's a special edition one in that mold. And I didn't know they had reused it, so it was kind of cool. That's why I like those blind bag ones. They used molds that weren't often used. They created new molds for the blind bags. I thought the simplistic colors... When I was younger, I wasn't a big fan, but now I, I like get it and I like them. I know it's just to make them cheaper. That was one of my favorite little touch-ups when I was little. I know they just did the solid colors because it's cheaper to do, but I kind of like it on like a design level, just like looking at them. It's very, I don't know, they're pleasing to look at, in my opinion anyway. I know most people probably absolutely hate them. <gasps> oh my gosh, sorry. I just saw one that I'm definitely going back for if it's still there. Oh my god. I'm going to go back to the store quick. Oh, that's what it says outside? Yeah, look at it. I didn't realize. I'm stuck on start game. Oh, God. You can't go sideways? Oh, no. We have to Google how to play. I'm Brock. He's Dawn. I could have been Paul, though. Hey, everyone. It's me, ex Canadensis, and a few days ago, I went on a doll hunt. Come with me. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little doll hunt. So it was the same place that I went to not that long ago, but a lot of you guys were upset about the footage and I completely understand. I was really trying to film slowly, but my old phone had this really, really bad motion blur on it. And there was nothing I could really do about that. But I got scammed out of the phone that was gonna replace my old phone. So I had to buy this really, really nice new phone because I'm flying out of town soon and I had to make sure I had to have a phone for that because my other phone broke. So I ended up having to go on Craigslist and this was the only phone I could get and it's way nicer. So me and Brett as a treat went out to that store again and I got a bunch of way better footage for you guys. Hopefully it's better. Um, and I found a few more things. I found new things that I didn't see last time and I also went back for something that I didn't get last time. So I'm very excited about it. So the thing that I didn't get last time that I really wanted to get go back for and I think I mentioned it in the last video was this Pokemon game? <sighs> I'm such a board game person. Nobody ever wants to play board games with me. And especially like something like this, it has to be somebody like my brother or Brett or like, there's not very many people who can play a Pokemon trivia board game with me, you know? Um, but I bought this cause I thought this would be like, I thought it would be fun and it's cute. And originally I thought it was gen three cause it had Kyogre on the side, but it's actually gen four, which is pretty fun. This game was ridiculous. It was hilarious. Um, I have some clips from it that I'll insert right here. Um, it was, it was a riot. We had so much fun. Brett beat me because, and I'm, I'm just gonna say this now, the RNG on that game was not based on, like, like, it wasn't that it gave him harder questions, or, or sorry, he, it gave me harder questions, because I actually didn't get a single question wrong. He got two wrong. But sometimes you would go to challenge something, because it's a DVD game, by the way, I forgot to say that. There's, like, it has a little game board and all these little game pieces, but there's a DVD that you, like, we had to put in our PS2, and then it wouldn't render correctly on our big TV, I guess. <laughs> so we couldn't see the pointers, so you just had to guess. And I would hit something, and it would hit something completely different, so I wouldn't get to challenge the gym like I was supposed to that turn. Um, so, and the point is that you're collecting the gym badges. They're not gym badges, they were like professor things, I don't know. Anyway, this game was hilarious. If you're a fan of Pokemon, this game is dirt cheap because no one likes it and it's hilarious and if you have friends that are fans of pokemon like you need this also some of the questions are impossible like some of them are really easy and some of them are really difficult unless you're like a competitive player and you know the type of every single pokemon because i don't know all of the very specific dual types like i had no idea what type dialga actually was i knew one of them but not the other one um anyway it was really fun so i bought that and it was a good purchase it's only missing one piece and it's one of the like small wild pokemon that doesn't affect anything anyways next up from that same store or well that same like antique mall place there was a new booth full of monster high stuff i didn't have a lot of money because i got scammed out of a phone like i told you and they're like refusing to refund me because they want to fix it and i'm like no i already had to buy another phone take it back so i'm going to dispute with ebay but not worried about it giving them one more day to figure it out anyway <laughs> I got one doll here and I really wanted to get Spectra too because if I did, I would get the complete line. So now you know who I got. I got Jennifer. 
Um, I really like Spectra too from pictures that I've seen, but in person, this specific Jennifer spoke to me more than that specific Spectra. I believe I paid 25 or 30 for her, which for a boxed Monster High doll is a ridiculous steal. I know these aren't worth very much, I don't think anyway, but I really, really want this line complete because I really love Meality, who I got um, back when they were out because I was collecting all the Werecats. Uh, and this line is like unskippable to me. This is a fantastic example of what made what made Monster High so great. So um, I'm really excited to have two out of the three. And then all I need now is Spectra. I think Spectra looks amazing and most Spectra dolls end up being some of my favorite Monster High dolls because she's just that good. But um, I think that doll must have had something about her that wasn't speaking to me. But if she's there when I'm back from my trip and none of you guys pick her up because like four of you in the last video said that you live here. Um, no, but feel free to get her, like, you should, if you want her. But, um, <laughs> uh, if she's there, you best believe I'm gonna go get her. She's gonna be mine once I get my phone refund. Anyway, beautiful. Very, very excited about her, and, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do an unboxing. We'll see. Uh, but she's very, very cute. I'm excited to add her to my collection. I, I kind of don't want to unbox her because I love this style of Monster High box, but... You know me, I'm gonna unbox the doll. Unless I can find her complete for a really good deal, like today, I'm probably gonna unbox her. Anyway, well, I'm gonna be gone for a week. Maybe I'll have a week to find a good deal. All right, and then the last thing, there was another store that I didn't go into last time because it looked like a Buffalo Bills merchandise store to me from the outside, and that is the exact opposite of what has ever appealed to me in my whole life. Sorry, hold on. And I went in because there was a Monster High dollhouse outside, and you saw that in the footage. And I was like, hmm, it's a fake Monster High dollhouse, it's like a kid craft one, but still, I was like, hmm. Because most collectible stores, even if they do have collectibles, they do not do anything related to, like, anything. I don't like using the word girly, but you, it, it describes, like, a category, like, the section of the store, you know what I mean? Like, most collector communities and most collector-type stores and people do not acknowledge or respect any doll, My Little Pony, anything like that. And it's very frustrating for me as a collector, as a very serious collector, um, but... It's neither here nor there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but this store had quite a bit. And it was the same type of style as that other store where it's just booths that you rent out, which I think is great. And so the first couple of things that I got were Littlest Pet Shops. And oh, I hope that I hope that footage of me combing through Littlest Pet Shops was satisfying because I was filming it, you know, and I was showing individual pets. And the guy behind the counter was right above me because that bin was like below the counter. So you probably so you can't steal from it. And he was like staring me down. And when I got up, I'm holding the four pets that I picked out. And he, and I, he was a really, really nice guy. Um, I think he was just really concerned about what was going on. So he, um, I, I was just holding the pets like this and I, I was like, can I leave these on the counter? So, cause I'm not trying to do anything. I just, I want to get these later. And he was like, sure. And then I walk away and I'm like, oh my God, that was so awkward. And then I go, um, meet up with Brett and do some more footage elsewhere. Anyway, so these are the little pet shops that I picked out. So I got this Mola Mola cause it's one of the glittery ones and I don't have this one. A lot of them have really bad paint scratches, but I'm not overly picky, but this one's super, super cute. And then this one is one of the fairies and... There aren't that many fairies, and I actually have most of them, or not most of them, I have a few of them already, so very happy about that, and this is not one that I have, and I think these are adorable. This one is covered in crayon or something, so I hope I can get it off. By the way, did you know I collect little pet shops? I do. <laughs> um, and then this is a little shark friend. I love this. I have one of these from when they were, like, in stores, so I'm really excited to have another one. So cute! And then this one, these are very divisive. I love the blind bag era pets. I desperately wish I was collecting Little's Pet Shop at the time because I would have been all over those. I would have been a completionist. Like that would have been my jam, but I moved on to My Little Pony. Um, but this is one of them and he's so cute. Some of my favorite pets in my entire Little's Pet Shop collection are from this line. I think with the actual candy too. There's a butterfly that's purple. That's from one of these lines that I love. And then there's the cricket. I love the cricket or something. It's like a grasshopper or a cricket or something. Love it love it and um this is the frog from that line and I just love the new molds I know people absolutely hate these but for me love it there's a lot of the newer ones that I'm not 100% on board with but like yes not newer ones the newer ones I am 100% on board with like the ones that I guess just got canceled um but like the 2012 ish 2011 2014 or something people hate those <laughs> but I I personally kind of like them and then the last doll that I got, so this is interesting. I could have gotten two other dolls. I could have gotten a giant bag of doll clothes. I could have gotten a doll bed that I really actually wanted a lot for a great deal. But for some reason, I could not leave the store without this doll. I couldn't. 
I just couldn't. And it was the Beach Spectre doll, which was the most expensive doll in that case, I'm pretty sure. She was $30. She still has a little tag on her. Um, yeah, so the, oh, the little pet shops, by the way, were $2 each. Probably should have just bought every one of them, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I got this Spectra and oh, I love the Beach line. I don't have a single one. Uh, I really wanted them at the time, but I just, I was being very picky because I didn't have a lot of money and I was kind of shifting gears a little bit towards Winx more at the time. And, you know, you have to kind of prioritize and I don't regret that obviously because I just physically could not buy them all so I bought the ones that I really really loved and the ones that really really spoke to me and they mean a lot to me but you know I've always really liked them and I've been hoping to get them back someday and I don't ever pay more than retail for Monster High like I can name like maybe three times I ever did that I very rarely do it but I made the exception for this doll because I just couldn't say no I couldn't leave her I saw her and I was like mine mine name your price that is my doll she's stunning She's perfect. And she even still has like her, her like plastic on these sunglasses and everything. Like, oh, I'm, I'm never, I'm never changing anything about her. She's perfect. She's missing her like beach bag, I think. There's a beach bag in this color and that's it. Um, and she even has her little towel. The seller like had it all wrapped. You saw it in the footage and like tucked in her shoulder or her elbow. I really wish I could find her or them, the seller, because to just not assume people are female. I don't know why I do that. Sorry. Um, I need to find them or I wish I could find them and see if they're a collector and make them be my best friend, but, <laughs> uh, but oh my gosh, she's amazing. I don't know. This is just one of those cases. This is why I'm not the biggest wish list maker. I always have a wish list, but to me, especially when dolls are in stores, I don't make a list of like who I'm going to get first necessarily. I just go get them. I go to the store and whoever I find first or whoever speaks to me, because that was my thing with Monster High, I knew which ones I liked from online, but I would go into the store sometimes and there would just be one that just, yes, you're coming home with me. Like Picture Day Frankie did that for me. And those end up being my favorite ones or the ones that like I didn't really give the time of day to from the stock photo, but then I get her in person and I'm like, oh my God, yes. Um, so that's why like people always ask me like what rainbow high doll should I get first and my answer I'll, I'll give you an actual answer like I'll say Kaya But I'll also say like just go to the store and see which one you like because I don't know There's so many variations with dolls where like they can be printed wrong or they maybe you just have a completely different taste than I do or something I don't know and That's kind of why like you just need to go to the store and see which one you like especially unfortunately with lol omgs You can't really do that. I guess maybe you can now they're starting to have clear boxes fine but um you know just just go see what you like and that's why i love thrifting and um, buying dolls secondhand so much because you really get to connect with the doll on like a spiritual level you just get to go see her you just get to be like yep that's the one and this was one of those like really this was one of the first times actually i don't know like i've never seen just a pile of monster High well i have a couple of times but they tend to be incomplete or they're ones that i already have but this was just there were like 20 Monster High dolls in front of me and I was actually missing quite a few of them and I could have bought two or three, but I just, I was like, Spectra, come on, come on. And the same thing happened here. Like there were a bunch of dolls in that case that I needed for cheaper and I still went with this one. Um, but yeah, very, very happy with her. Mwah. Um, and with that, that's it for this video. Very Monster High. I know it's not like a huge, huge haul or anything, but I just had a huge haul at that same location, you know, so um anyways that's it for this video thank you guys so, so much for watching and i'd love to know what you saw in the video that like spoke to you or caught your eye um just so you know because i got a weird comment on the last video several actually why do y'all want me to be a scalper like we're all against scalpers as a community we all really dislike when people buy things up for cheap and like sell them for super expensive because it, it makes collecting not fun anymore and it makes it not an accessible hobby so why when i find something that i don't want and I don't buy, do y'all come in like, oh, that thing's rare, you need to get it, or oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't buy that thing, you're so stupid. I full well know that's a rare doll, or that's an expensive doll. I just don't, I don't want to contribute to the, like, thrift picking nonsense that, like, makes thrift stores not an interesting, fun, accessible, helpful tool anymore. Like, I don't, I don't want to call them a tool, but you know, like, they're important pillars of the community thrift stores are and y'all are making them into something that's like expensive and not accessible anymore just to make an extra buck and it's never like people who actually need the money who are doing this that's the that's the best part it's almost never and i don't feel like i think thrift picking 
if you're still selling them for affordable is fine but I don't know people are like you should have bought that you could have sold her for a hundred dollars I'm like even if I bought her to sell I would not be selling her for a hundred let's be clear I don't know it's, it's weird I just wanted to say that because it keeps happening and when I forget to put the disclaimer it happens a lot more anyway thanks so much for watching for the time bye